Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Let's have a look at problem 1474. Delete n nodes after m nodes of a linked list. So in this video, we're going to share a solution based on linear traversal with check. First, uh, we'll read through the statement to digest the requirements of the problem. Then we share some simple analysis and the code. First, let's look at the statement. So we are given the height of a linked list at two integers m and m. So traverse the linked list and remove some nodes in the following way. First, start with the height as the current node. And then keep the first m nodes starting with the current node. And thirdly, remove the next n nodes. And fourthly, keep repeating steps 2 and 3 until we reach the end of the list. So we are required to return the head of the modified list after removing the mentioned nodes. So here are two examples. So we are going to look at example 1 in some details. So here m and n are 2 and 3 respectively. In other words, we are going to retain two nodes, delete three nodes, then retain two nodes, delete three nodes, and repeat the procedure. So here, the first two nodes, 1, 2, are retained, and the, the next three, 3, 4, 5 nodes are removed. So uh, we point the next of the node 2 to 6. So this has the effect of deleting 3, 4, 5. And then we retain nodes 6 and 7, and remove nodes 8, 9, 10. Therefore, we point the next of node 7 to node 11. So this takes the effect of removing 8, 9, 10. And uh, then we retain nodes 11 and 12, and they do the removal. So now we have only one uh, node uh, left, so we just uh, remove this one node. So we point 12 to now. So this is example 1. So let's also look at the constraints or we can regard them as additional assumption for this problem. First, the number of nodes in the list is in the range 1 and 10 to the power of 4. So this constraint actually defines the problem size. The second constraint is on the range of node values. So the range is 1 and 10 to the power of 6. And the third one is on the size of m and n, respectively. So both of them are in between 1 and 1000. So notice that both m and n are strictly positive. So that's actually an important assumption. So here also a uh, follow-up. Could we solve this problem by modifying the list in place? So we are going to do uh, the modification in place. So with that said, we are ready to look at the method. So the method or the solution is based on linear traversal with check. The procedure actually is very uh, straightforward if we just uh, uh, read through. So we are going to do linear traversal and counting respectively the remaining number of nodes m and then the to be removed number of nodes n and then do repointing. So after doing the repointing, we start over the counting again. So we can set m to be and n to be zero or one depends on our preferences. So if during the process there are less than m nodes, so we just need to stop. And further, if there are less than n nodes to remove, so we set the previous ending node to point to now. So that's the main procedure. So actually this problem is marked easy by lead code. However, the implementation is not trivial. So with that said, let's look at the uh, code. So first, I'll make some annotations. So the annotation specifies the main operations we are going to uh, do and implement. So we, we will do linear traversal. So we want to do counting, and we want to do repointing, right? So that's what we want to do our, our scenario. So first, I'm going to introduce a variable called current, pointing to the current height. And then we do the counting. So we're going to initialize a outer while loop. And what we are going to do is first count m nodes that we want to retain. So we set i equals 1. In other words, we count the current node. 
and then we do the while loop. So while current, and the count is less than m. Then what we are going to do is that we are going to because we have count counted the current, so we want to first do the repointing or reset count next. Then we are going to increment i by one. So this way of initialization, this count variable i and doing the while loop has the effect that if we have enough nodes, then after we exit this while loop, so the current will correspond to the mth node. So this is actually an important thing to notice. So this is the first step. So then first let's treat a special case. So if not current, so in other words, we do not have enough node in this cycle. So we are going to break. So this is obvious. And then uh, if uh, we have enough node, then after we exit this while loop, the current will correspond to the mth node we are going to retain. Then let's first retrieve the, uh, the first node we are going to delete, that is current uh, next. And then we need to do counting, right? We count n nodes to be removed. So for this, uh, let's first initialize a count variable called g. So here I'm initializing using g equals zero. And then what we are going to do is another value loop. Value temp is not null and g is less than n. Then what we are going to do is that we first increment g by one. In other words, we want to count the current state of temp, and then we set temp to be temp next. So notice that in comparison with the above while loop with initialization i equals one, the current while loop with initialization j equals zero has the effect that if we have enough node to remove, then after we exit this while loop, the temp state will correspond to the n plus 1 node. So in other words, the temp is the 1 we are going to count uh, in the um, nodes for retaining, right? So this is actually an important detail. So this val two while loops are doing uh, essentially the same thing, but due to different initialization, the exit state will be slightly different. So with that said, we are ready to do the uh, reset or repointing. So first, I'm going to set the next of current, so to be the current temp. So you can imagine the current here is the node two, and the temp is the node six. So we are pointing the uh, current that is two to six. So this plays the effect of removing three, four, five. So, or removing the node in between. So this is the one thing. Then after we do the reset, so we can update the current to be current uh, next. So in other words, the current is the temp. So with that said, so we actually done the full coding. What we are going to do next is to return the height of the linked list. So that's actually the full uh, format of this solution. So. Uh, now we are in a position to do some test. Let's first test a special case. Yeah, it passes the first example. Now let's do uh, the test for generic cases. Yeah, it passes all the generic cases. So it should be fast uh, enough because it's a linear um, algorithm. Yeah, it passes all the uh, cases. So with that said, I guess that's all for this a specific problem. So you are welcome to check out other relevant videos in my um, channel. So before we end this video, so let me emphasize one point again. So here, the two while loops, which are doing the same thing, but due to slightly different initializations. So we should notice that their exit state for the variable current and temp are different relative to the count variable or count state m and n respectively. So that's about it. That's all. Thank you very much.